Hello everybody, Voodoo here, and as you can see before me, we have more class tuning. Now, if you hear any sounds, my kitten is right here, so that'll be him. That's Goose. I already, uh, already introduced him to the channel, but he's right there hanging out. So if you hear him, sorry. Um, but we're here today, fresh off the presses with some nerfs yesterday. Also some crazy buffs that, like, I don't, I don't know why they did. But we'll get into it. Before we do, uh, make sure you like the video, comment, subscribe. We are close to 9K, which means we're close to 10K. We're pushing up there. Also, I'm sponsored by G Fuel, so co use code Voodoo at checkout at gfuel.com for 20% off. Link in the description. Let's get into it. So, the good thing about being a demon hunter is we're right at the top. So we're right here. So demon hunter. So this is for all specs. So sigil flame damage reduced by 10%. Not a massive deal. Um, more so in AOE than single target. Sigil flame was really strong. Um, especially with all the buffs that went into it, AMN, uh, it being uncapped, the new talent that gave it like 70% initial damage. So this is a fairly, you know, minor change, but one that can curb down AOE and single target a bit. And also reduces Vengeance a little bit. Vengeance was very strong. They're one of the highest damage tanks right now. Um, then just for Havoc, the Collective Anguish talent um, from Fall Devastation was reduced by 10%. Uh, I think this is fair. So back in, I don't remember when it was, back in PTR at some point, they buffed Fell Devastation for Vengeance. And for some odd reason, the Havoc Collective Anguish talent uses the same Fell Devastation as Vengeance. So it's the same spell ID. The Vengeance one uses a separate IB. So whenever they buff or nerf Fell Devastation for Vengeance, it also does the same thing for Havoc, but then the same is not true for IB. So they buffed it by like 30% or something, and it was like doing more damage than I-Beam was. It still will do that, um, but it's kind of crazy how strong that was. This doesn't cause any talent change or anything. It's still very good. It's just going to nerf our single target and our AOE a bit. Uh, next up, Rage Fire Damage Stored. Uh, for Melanation Aura, Critical Strikes is now 30%, was 35%. This is just a 5% nerf to Rage Fire. Um, <clears throat> well, I guess not 5%, but you know what I mean. This is fine. It uh, doesn't really hurt our single target at all. Uh, just hurts our larger cleave immolation or uh rage fire is doing like nine percent of our damage it was a pretty high contributor it'll be less now of course um but again not too not, not too bad and then a fire inside chance to reset immolation or it reduced to 25 percent was 30 percent. so this just kind of curbs down the high roll potential you can get of a bunch of different immolation auras i actually like this i, I do think the rng was kind of uh bad um with that much rng it's a nerf of course to our damage and to our fury generation um but it's very minor fire inside works as a stacked deck kind of thing where like there's like 10 chances and three of those are hits right so, and you would go through all 10 before you hit all three hits and then reset i believe now with 25 percent chance there'd be 12 um and three of them are hits so you'd have a slightly less chance. You could theoretically go nine casts in a row without getting hit and then just get three resets back to back to back. But like realistically, you're not gonna feel these nerfs. You're gonna be doing less damage, but not by a ton. Um, we'll go over impact and stuff after. They're not very major. Uh, it does suck that it happens. Um, if we get nerfed again, then I'm gonna be mad. Um, these nerfs put us in a really good spot, but not an insane spot. Um, I'm not going to comment if they're warranted or not. We'll get to that in a bit. Uh, nerfs always suck. It always sucks to have your class nerfed. Abbey Demon Hunter is still very strong. Very, very good. You're still going to be brought in Mythic Plus. You're still going to be brought in Raid. But we are not anywhere near as high as we were before. Um, which obviously sucks. But as long as there's nothing else, we're fine. If we start receiving more, we're not fine. <laughs> uh, scrolling down, there is something I want to talk about. What the fuck is this? <laughs> um... Yeah, I don't know. So Fire and Frost weren't that great in single target. They're fine in raid. They're like mid. But um, this just means Fire and Frost are insane in Mythic Plus now. Like absolutely crazy. Both of them are really good. Both of them are seeing play in high keys. And now they're crazy strong. Um, like Fire are getting all these things buffed. They don't even use Flame Strike in AoE right now. They're doing their no Flame Strike build. I don't know if that changes this. Or if this changes that. I'm not a mage player. But... They just got all their damage buffed by like 6%, which is a crazy amount. They're going to be doing a lot of damage now. Probably on par with us in AoE, which is really good. And Frost is also really strong. And Ice Lance being buffed, Glacial Spike being buffed. That's just AoE buffs as well because of their tier sets. Ice Lance obviously hits two targets. Glacial Spike hits multiple targets because of their tier set. I'm pretty sure caused it to explode, uh, which is really good. And then Windwalker also got buffed, which is good for them. Uh, Windwalker is going to be very strong in AoE now. Uh, single target still mid. 
Uh, they're not as good as Havocs are, but they're a lot better. So hopefully, you know, the 12 people still playing Windwalker will feel a bit better there. So <clears throat> let's get on to Impact. So this is my Dungeon Slice Sim beforehand, 279. Um, we see Rage Fire, we see Fell Dev, and then Sigil Flame at 3.7. Go out into, this is after, so 275, 279. Now this doesn't actually have the Fell Devastation change. Like see here, it's roughly the same. It, this should be like 0.5 percent lower um it's roughly a four percent nerf in aoe in reality this i think this has it like three point something i don't quite remember but it's like it's like in the three percent on sims um shad shadowrek the wowhead guide writer and one of the wow theory uh, having theory crafters went through and looked at his log and in a real dungeon it's roughly four percent uh, on aoe nerf which is you know a sizable nerf but nothing like too crazy we're still very good we've always been very good in aoe and i don't think that's going to change with this um, it's here, not a ton. Uh, for single target, even less. This is my single target sim right now, and then this is it after. So it's like 300 DPS. Obviously, fell devastation isn't being included here, so this should be like 0.2% lower, which would put it at like 2239 or something, um, which would equate to like a 800 DPS. So it's like a 1%, give or take a little bit less, 1% um, loss in, in single target and roughly 4% in AoE. Some of that is just going to be less immolation aura, as you can see, we have less overall. Hard to fully equate that to a nerf. Uh, roughly the 25% chance from 30% is gonna be like, you lose maybe one every other pack or something like that, or like, like it's like less than one a pack. So nothing too crazy, but it obviously does suck to be nerfed, right? Like there's definitely a lot of classes that are way better than us on single target now. Our single target is going to be mid, but our cleave, our burst cleave is gonna be very strong still. And we're gonna be very good in the raid. Now, question was, was this warranted? If you look at Raider IO here, we can see that on all levels, Havoc is the second most represented DPS. But if we go looking at 20 and up, we can see Havoc jumps up to the most represented spec entirely. And then 25 and up, we can see Havoc is roughly 14.3% of every single class. So if this was 20%, it means it would be in every single key above 25. Um, at 14.3%, it is in most keys above 25. If we look at DPS, Again, 33% is basically every single key. And here we have 22.9, which is a really high number. If we look at Dragonflight Season 2, um, Shadow Priest was at 25% um, before like the God Comp came in and everything like that. Uh, like if we look at 20s, actually Rhett was really good. But this is before the God Comp really came in. You can see Shadow Priest was really high. Uh, comparing it to this season, Havoc is in a similar spot. So probably warranted a bit. Um, we're still gonna be very strong, so don't like freak out or anything, but it will make the meta a lot healthier. Now, I don't know what they were doing buffing Mage when Fire and Frost are present in so many high keys. Obviously this is like all one group, but you can see a lot of fires everywhere, right? A lot of fires, a lot of rogues, and you know, Mage being present is going to like really, really, really just kind of dominate now. Um, Mage is going to be really, really strong. I don't know why they had to buff them in AOE, but whatever. So Havoc going to drop down a bit. Still very good. Um, we're still going to be brought, I think. I think the comp is just going to be this, basically. You bring the prop pal for defensiveness. This one puts for damage and, and PI to buff the Mage. Havoc for damage and to buff the Mage. And Evoker for, dam for survivability and to buff the Mage. So we're playing a buff the mage comp, you know. Uh, the fun stuff is when we're playing buff the mage comps. Now in raid, if we look at damage overall, this is 95th percentile over all bosses. Havoc is very good. 1% is gonna drop us down to like here maybe. It's like not really gonna change us in a significant amount. Rogues also got hit. It's kind of funny, all three rogue specs are just a little bit higher than everybody else. I think Ask got a 3% overall, which is kind of funny. Uh, if we look at specific bosses, we check out Volcaros, which is like single target. Habits here, 1% is going to bring us down in the middle. Some buffs here will bring these people up. We're going to be mid and single target, which is whatever. When it's something like Cleave, um, we're some good, we're a good Cleave boss. Something like Gnarl Root, I guess. We're still pretty good. Something like uh, Igara, we're still pretty good. Something like uh, Council of Dreams, pretty good still. Obviously, like... We're not spread cleaves, but you know, still strong. Tindril, I don't think has been enough uh, things, but we're still pretty solid overall in Tindril, um, despite the fact that there's only been like, I don't know, like 20 public kills or something. So nerfs obviously suck. 1% uh, single target, 4% AOE is survivable. We'll still be very, very strong. Still be very desired in keys and in raid comps. Um, but if we get nerfed again, I think it's just crazy and shows that they hate us.
Um, so don't be mad about these ones. If you get more, be mad about those. Um, but you know, stay level-headed out there. Don't freak out or anything. <laughs> we were very good. We're still very good. And um, welcome to the new Mage Overlords, I guess. You know, Mage wasn't brought in every single key for one bit, and I had to change that. So this is what it is. Shout out to Windwalkers. They actually might be playable now. And that's the nurse. So like the video, comment, subscribe, all the fun stuff. Enjoy your Saturday. And uh, check out the link in the description for G Fuel. Use code Voodoo for 20% off. And follow me on Twitch. The description's there too. And join my Discord. So nerfs are in. This is what it is. Peace out. Big thank you to all of my channel members. Thank you, Fidi Gregori, Andrew Kino, Guillermo Lamas, Joshua O'Connell, Latand, Period, Brad Wisniak, Zuligan, It's Bulk, Magic Man 133, and Howley. Thank you all so, so much. Your support helps me make the content every week and keeps me going on this channel. Thank you all so, so much. If you want to support me, follow the link in the description to become a channel member. And again, thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.